Well, 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 it has been a while since the, uh, good news, but it's bad news because it's the only good news we got. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I want to talk to you guys about is Spyglass desperate, right? For the people who are happy that Nev is coming back, which, hey, you know, don't get it wrong. I'm happy to... It just sucks that this is the only good thing that we've heard so far since the firing of Melissa and Jenna dropping out of the project because of what they did to, you know, Melissa. Is Spyglass desperate? Now, I'm going to get my opinion. I'm going to explain why. Out of nowhere, right? It wasn't like some type of announcement or whatever. Nev posted on her Instagram like, hey, you know, she has the Scream 7, you know, script gonna go into it now one thing i've noticed spyglass did not announce this and i feel like it's obvious to know why right if they are just announced hey we got nev coming back it probably would have been more backlash on them than nev announcing it herself they probably told nev like hey how about you announce it first you know that's probably that's that was probably their plan right let's have nev announce it first Let's not even say anything. Spyglass still hasn't said anything about Nev from the back. Because they figure, like, look, if she announces that she's back, we're going to get a lot of the fans back. However, if we announce that Nev is back, it's not going to, you know, we're still going to get flooded with the, oh, you guys did Melissa wrong and all that, man. That's just, like, I don't know why you guys, you know, did that to her. Right? And so far, they still have, I haven't said anything. Now, I hate to bring bring um, bring it up, but something tells me they are going to bring back Stu Mock. That's what I feel like. Keep in mind, because of what they've done, they are extremely desperate to get the fans back. They said, okay, let's have Nev only, let's only have her announce that she's back. Second, they still haven't announced the director. And remember, from what we've heard, it seems like they were afraid of fan backlash if they had announced um, who was uh, was coming back, right? So now I feel like when it comes to the director, what they're probably going to do is it's the same thing with Nev Campbell. They are probably going to have... I'm assuming this is probably a famous horror director, right? I don't think it's going to be like a someone who's only made like two films and that's it and they're probably going to have this director announce that they will be directing scream 7 right spyglass will probably only announce when the first teaser trailer is going to come out obviously because they know like look we're going to get dogged on by the whole aspiring melissa thing for a whole year and we don't want to deal with that which to be fair, they brought that up upon themselves. Even with the chances of bringing her back, they still, you know, that they fumbled so many chances to bring the whole cast back. Jenna, Nev, Melissa, the core four, you know, Courtney, they fumbled every chance of fixing this movie. That's the way I see it. So with the director, they'll probably announce like, hey, you know, well, let's just have the director announced that they're gonna be Dirk in Scream 7, right? Now, this is how I feel like they'll really get super, um, super, uh, desperate. The only way for them to really get rid of or push back this Melissa, you know, backlash is what they'll probably do is bring back Stu. And they would do it under the impression that they don't know what they can do. They probably thought that Nev announcing herself coming back would stop the, you know, boycott thing. It hasn't. It hasn't stopped. There are still a 50-50 with the fans. And it's mainly between the modern fans and the OG fans. You know, that's pretty much what it, uh, what it is. So I feel like they're desperate. Their backs are against the wall. So they figure, hey... If we announce that Stu is back, that Matthew Lillard is coming back, 
then the hate will definitely go away. Now keep in mind, would they even announce that? Go on the poor de decisions of Spyglass? Possibly. They, they might. Or they might try to hint at it or, you know, something, something like that. But this is what I feel like is going to happen. Their backs are against the wall and from what, I, from what it seems like, Courtney Cox is coming back. That's not really news to me. I figured, I'm like, well, Courtney's always going to come back, right? We knew that was with Scream 6. She's always going to come back. I'm not worried about her. And now I just feel like any, um, any casting that they've done, they're probably just going to have the actor or actress announce it besides them. Spyglass can't afford posting something in the comments. It's like, oh, boy, from 7, you know, rehire Melissa or something like that. Now, I will say, the fans doing that are kind of toxic in a way. It's like, it's toxic, but at the same time, I see where they're coming from. Melissa got did wrong. She got did completely wrong. And it's really unfortunate what happened to her but and I guess they thought maybe it was going to go away it's not going to go away but that's just a quick bit I thought is Spyglass desperate and what do you think is going to be their next move to try to have people talk less and less about Melissa being fired now it's probably going to be it's probably never going to go away because even with her being fired she loves Sam she loves the screen fans she loves hanging out with them because, you know, she still does, you know, conventions and meeting Greeks. She just did one uh, a couple weeks ago, I think, taking pictures with the fans, answering questions. You know, she's still doing panels with people with, you know, with Skeet Ulrich, uh, Mikey Madison. I was surprised to see her there. And, um, and Matthew, you know, so it's kind of like it's not going to go away anytime soon. The fact that she's hanging out with their original cast, I would hope that maybe there's still hope for her to come back. But I, I, I don't know. It might not happen because apparently she hasn't spoken about Nev being brought back. And it makes sense because now, she, you know, if Melissa says, oh, well, you know, it's good that she's back. Well, you know, hey, you know, she got what she wanted or, you know, something like that. She can't say anything, and this goes for Jasmine, Jenna, um, you know, ah, oh, I forgot, what's the other guy's name? The guy who plays Chad. <laughs> you know, they don't want to give Spyglass any kind of, like, respect. 10% to 1%. They don't want to give any percentage of respect. So, I see why she can't speak on it. She guys... Let me know what you think. Are they desperate? And what are they going to do next to try to calm the fans down?